near the Rose Bowl in Pasadena at the Pasadena History Museum. Perry Mason is a recreation of an old 1950s show about a lawyer who is a detective at the same time. Wear your good suit. This is my good suit. HBO took it and ran with it and wanted a grittier version. When you're talking about going back to the 1930s, you really have to do a lot of digging and a lot of brushing away to find the, the gems of Los Angeles from that era. And the work to do that and the scouting involved to do that was really kind of exciting for us. Jonathan Jansen and myself are both location managers on Perry Mason. We had a team of 14 people. I'm very grateful for all their help in making the show what it was. This was a very, very heavy location show. I think we had well over 250, 300 locations for the whole show. There were so many things and elements that needed to be worked on to make you know, the show what it is. For example, Angel's Flight required a ton of green screen and a lot of pre-production work. We have a lot of conversations with the visual effects team about what elements are needed, what space is needed, how much depth is needed for camera, what is going to be CGI, where those worlds collide, melding those two worlds, some set building, some green screen, a lot of brushing away the natural landscape to bring 1930s Los Angeles to the present. We are working in the golden era of television. It wasn't like that when I was growing up. Knight Rider might have been a fun show, but it's not the same as Perry Mason is today or any of these other great shows that we have available to us at any time. It's a great pleasure to be able to work on something that has this sort of scope and space. It's very, very much a good time to be doing these sorts of projects.